Alright everybody, welcome to Elder Scrolls Online Beta. I've just logged in and I think there was a trailer at the beginning that I did not watch, I skipped it. Um, sorry about that. But uh, we just popped into character customization. Oh. We... I went with ultra settings, make sure the quality is really great. Uh, hopefully, we can get going here. So, this is the beta. Uh, no character here. Uh, let's take a look at veteran gear. Nice, nice. Oh, alright. Save that for later. But yeah. So, we're currently in the race customization, and I guess we're gonna name ourselves Spirit before the name gets taken. Hopefully we can keep that name when the beta ends. Oh, maybe. Oh, alright. Wonderful. Uh, let's just take a look at the female character really quickly. See some differences. Mm -hmm. I really like the uh, armor. Oh, the uh, yeah, it's nicely uh, leveled. Hmm. They went really, really good on detail with the uh, characters. Yeah, very nice uh, glow lighting. Oh. Yeah, you can see uh, the armor also has a very beautiful uh, reflection. Obviously the light coming from the bottom left. Alright, so we're going to be a male, probably. Uh, wow. Whew, what are we going to choose? The Daggerfall Covenant. Or the Altari... Altmeri Dominion. Or the Ebon Heart Pact. All right, so wow, actually, there's are these? Oh, okay. So the alliance is human. The these guys, let's call them dominion, dominions. Yeah, there are. Wow. And then we have the. Other humans? Huh. Alright, and then we have the females of those as well. Alright, so I'm assuming that each alliance has three different races. Here, let's Oh gosh, okay. So for, for the Covenant, we have the Breton. The Breton uh, have racial skills of the... The, ra the racial skills of the Bretons reflect their affinity with spellcraft and swordplay, giving them bonuses to magicka, spell resistance, light armor, and creatures and magic. I should probably not have any of them. Yeah, there we go. That's better. The orcs. The racial skills of the orcs reflect their people's harsh mountain environment, giving them bonuses with heavy armor and health regeneration. Alright. Let's look. So health regen, that, that, that's pretty good actually. Heavy armor, health regen. So I guess these are like warriors. These guys would most likely be magic, 
uh, mostly magic, but also sword. So I'm assuming they'll be magic, but close combat magic. So like paladin, I guess. And then we have the racial skills of the red guards reflect their ancestral legacy as swordsmen. Swordmasters, whoops. Giving them bonuses with shield, stamina, regeneration, and increased power. Huh. So, wow. I can't tell. <laughs> I get, I, I like all of those for now. So with the dominions, we have the high elves. And the racial skills of the High Elves reflect their magical affinity by increasing their damage with destructive spells and increasing their rate of regeneration, re regaining magicka. Alright, so I guess these are the Breton are close combat magic, the High Elves are long distance magic, kind of ranged magic, where with higher damage at long distances. I'm guessing people's previous swamp environment giving them bonus healing or Okay, and you got the Argonians, which are like healers magic, healing magic. Alright, yeah, so the Argonians receive uh, bonuses to healing, restoration, and poison resistance. So yes, these are healers. Okay, got the high elves. Let's continue down the list. The wood elf. Let's see what he looks like. All right, so just like short, shorter high elf. <laughs> so the wood elves have improved archery, stamina, and stealth. Ooh, make them dangerous foes. Gosh. I think I'm gonna be a wood elf. All right, and then we got the uh, the cats. <laughs> Kajit, Kajit. They got bonuses to a stealth and melee combat. So what's the difference? Stealth, stamina, archery. Oh, so these are like long ranged, kind of. Combat? Is it? Is it? <laughs> and these guys are probably stealthy and short ranged and melee. Imperial. Alright, so we did go over the Argonians. Healing, restoration, and poisonous resistance. Now we have Dark Elves. Uh, dual wielding, fire magic, and fire resistant. Alright, I'm actually going to be a Dark Elf. <laughs> Change my mind. <laughs> and we have Nord. They get bonuses with two-handed weapons, health regeneration, and frost resistance. Wait, two-handed? I think I'm going to go for dual wielding. Because dual wielding is so much better. Let's look at veteran gear for all of them. All right, here we go. The Breton, very nice. Female Breton. All right, got the male orc in veteran gear. Very, very, very similar to the Breton. Obviously coming from the uh, same alliance. And the female orc. Oh, uh, let's, uh, their face. Right, and the red guards. Oops, females. Obviously same alliance, same gear. Not, nothing, uh, uh, it's the same style, but I would say different, uh, a little bit different. So now for the, uh, Dominion. 
we have the high elves. Oh wow. Actually this looks very similar except uh the armor looks more marked more more detailed. Wow, that's a big axe. One more. Right. The wood elf. Okay, this is much different armor. Obviously resembling the woods. The uh maybe some animal animal gear. Uh right, there's probably those are skulls. That's a skull definitely. Horns and pelts. They gosh the cats. <laughs> Really nice armor. And then we have the Eben Heart Pact. Okay, so the Argonians. Uh, this armor looks very um, Egyptian, if I was to say. Dark Elves. Which that's what I'm gonna choose, and then we have the Nord. Oh, once again, uh, yeah, from uh, nature, mostly. Oops. So I'm guessing we're gonna go with the Dark Elf. Dual wielding, fire magic and fire resistance. Should be pretty fun. Wow, that's just a race. It's not even class yet. Ah. Uh, so I don't really... Alright, I think... Yeah, I'm gonna stick with that. Gosh, so much options. Oh wow. Wow, I'm not gonna go over every single armor then. This is... That's just insane. Wow. So we have... Gosh, I wonder if... No, oh, okay, they're all the same. Good, good, good. So we have the Dragon Knight. And these skill skillful masters at arms use the ancient... Wow. A Kaviri material? Martial arts. Tradi wow, sorry about this, guys. Tradition of battle, spirit, and wield fearsome magic that pounds, shatters, and physically alters the world around them. Alright. Fearsome magic that physically alters. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Sorcerer. Summon and control the weather phenomenon. Hurling lightning bolts. Creating electric fields. Summoning tornadoes and imperial fog. And calling upon Dedric. Oh, Dedric forces that summon storm. Atronarchs and magical armor. The Night Blade, I'm assuming dual. Yep. <laughs> oh, look at that hat. Night blades are adventurers and opportunists with the gift for getting in and out of trouble, relying variously on stealth, blades, and speed. Night blades thrive on conflict and misfortune, trusting to their luck and cunning to survive. And we have a Templar. These traveling knights call upon the powers of light and burning sun to deal massive damage to enemies while restoring health, magic, and stamina to their allies. So obviously we have four classes. I'm guessing this is someone like a warrior. This is a mage. We got the like a rogue and a paladin. So 
So we're obviously going to go with a rogue or nightblade. Let's just. I think it'll do us some good. Right. Wow. Gotta. Oops. Gotta customize this. This dude. Oh, it's a little bit slow. Ugh. You don't want that. What if we do that? What if we do this? What if we do that? What if we go in between? Right. I'm pretty sure being shorter oh. will give us benefit. Body markings. Oh my god. That's terrible. Okay, so there's like veins and cars can't really oh oh wait tattoo I probably want a tattoo yeah wow Okay, let's not go to the extremes. Let's keep it simple. Whoa. So, this dragon goes all the way behind and onto his left arm. And this dragon just goes to his right arm. Hmm. Yeah, that's torso size. What just happened? <laughs> oh, so it's like how wide? It up, 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 up. Sure. Oh. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Hmm. Interesting. What? Oh, oh, I was like, what is that supposed to mean? Yeah. Waist size. What? Huh. I'm size. Interesting. Hand size. Small. Lower body. Hip. What? Post your dimension. Oh. Well, sure. <laughs> oh, I can't even see that. Yeah, why not? Hairstyle. God dang it. I think I'm just gonna... Gosh. I'm gonna have to like, cut all this out. Oh. 
Oh my god. Well, sure. White. Black. O orange. Silver. Gray. Gray. Um. Black. Sure. Age. Oh my god. What's this gonna do? Wow. Let's be young. <laughs> oh, 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 what? <laughs> what is that? The sunglasses? Wonderful. Just the way I wanted it. Hey, hmm, very sure. Oh, is so there gonna be a tattoo in here? Anything less creepy? I have to say, this one's pretty nice, but nope. <laughs> oh boy, so forehead slope. Middle, cheekbone size. Always go with white. Oh, my gosh. The customization. I, gosh. <laughs> Wait. Oh, see, he doesn't look like an elf anymore. <laughs> it's like, what's the correct height? Oh, smile! <gasps> oh my gosh, ears. Wow, small. <laughs> oh my god, what does this do? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're just a little bit here. Tip flare. Oh, yeah. There we go. So. Oh my god, really? Gosh. Since everyone likes Spirit, has your name. <laughs> 